first warning weather. Well, another warm borderline hot day and humid day here in New Orleans, but we've got some hot days still to come. And then we've got a cold front and a weather impact day for the potential of strong and severe storms. Let's check out Doppler radar where yesterday we had unfortunate tornado watches and a tornado that blew through northeastern Oklahoma. You're going to hear about those reports. Well, now it's got the center of that system way on up into the northern plains, dropping a cold front that's created tornado watches over the Midwest here. None of that for us. We're only going to have our chance of some stronger storms not to come here until a few more days. Just got to get past some potential record heat. 89 tomorrow, 91 on Thursday. This could be tying a record, but then you look at the temperatures that start to drop. As for rain chances, you'll see that they pick up, and this is more overnight, Thursday into Friday, and it might just leave us some great weather going into Saturday. So here's our forecasts the next two days compared to the records set in 2018, 1986. So we're awfully close to the records for the next couple of days, and I can hear you right now. What's the average high? Let's put this in perspective here. Our typical high is 83 for the time of the year. So we're running a little over that, not way beyond, but a little over. High temperatures today did another 90 at Lakefront. Did it yesterday for the first time. 88 Bogalusa, 80, 70. See a lot of those Slidell, Belt, Chase, Hammond today. But real time temps were just right around where those highs fell for the day. And you factor in the humidity. Feels more like 95 at Lakefront. Feels more like 92 and a home on 94 officially is what it feels like. It's the combination of heat and humidity again here in New Orleans. So we got a cold front drape through I just showed. You got the severe storms into the Great Lakes upper Midwest, the hot and humid days in place for us. That front essentially lifts away. It'll be the second start of the system. That'll be dropping in the cold front overnight Thursday into Friday. This one could bring in some strong storms, but behind it, we really might enjoy what's going to be some less humid and drier, cooler air. So low temperatures tomorrow morning. I have to kind of quote that it is a warm and muggy start. Only about 75, 76 for the coolest spots in the North Shore, near 80 along the lake. We're going to start off with morning clouds, get to a partly mostly cloudy day, and another one that's warm, borderline hot, 91 lakefront, almost close to 90 here in New Orleans, feeling like 95, 96, 97. At least a little bit of a breeze again tomorrow, so I call it breezy. South winds will be at about 10 to 20. Going into Thursday, morning clouds breaking away to partly the mostly cloudy skies. There it is, the potential to tie the record high, 92 in lakefront, but again, feeling more like 95, 96, 97. Here's the timing for storms Thursday. You can see this is all the way to Thursday night. This will be an overnight event coming in Thursday to early Friday morning. Now this forecast is a little underdone. We've got higher rain chances, especially for the North Shore. I still believe we can get storms even here in New Orleans. As you can see, that front kind of fades away. This front is a little bit coarser, but does signal that there's a likelier storm chance of which level two risk for possible severe storms has already been put in place for Thursday night. What does that really mean to us? Heavy rain, still the greatest risk, but strong wind gusts over 58 miles per hour is the greatest threat after that. Yes, we still have to talk about a risk for a weak low end variety tornado within that line of storms, but it's a weather impact day because of those threats. WDSU first warning weather seven day forecast warm near hot and humid days to come. Cold front coming in Thursday night, but less humid and cooler air drops in for the weekend here, Gina.